What's up everyone? Uh, doing my monthly video. Finally got the car on a dyno. And very impressed, very, very impressed with the numbers. Uh, actually before I show you all the numbers, can I do a quick little walk around? I know I got some ceiling insulation falling down. But before I say the numbers, I've had a lot of people question me if the car is still indeed stock oil pump, stock crank sprocket gear. Uh, let's go ahead and show you this. These are oil pump gears, still taped up, brand new in the box. Crank sprocket gear, right up there, still wrapped up. <clears throat> and I believe this pull was on 19 pounds of boost. Uh, has 14 pound springs in it. I have the eBoost 2 set to 14 pounds, or I have it set to 16, the overboost set to 16, so it's supposed to shut off at 14 ish. Uh, it spiked to 19 pounds. And this is what we came up with. 986 foot-pounds of torque and 1,114 horsepower at the tire. Uh, this is from LSX Killer uh, out of Bonner Springs, Kansas. It's about two hours from here. So... Drove the car there two hours, drove the car back two hours, uh, no issues at all whatsoever. We were all kind of, all kind of shocked. I was hoping for, you know, 900-ish horsepower and of course I guess when, you know, you have a boost spike like that, I mean, anything's possible. Just thankful to be able to drive it back home and not on a flatbed. Uh, so definitely, definitely say that I'm done for the year. Uh, I'll probably start tearing the motor apart here pretty soon to put the oil pump gears and crank sprocket on the car, uh, as well as some safety items. Uh, we'll be putting in a 10 point roll cage. Uh, as well as a parachute seeing that anything over 150 miles an hour in the quarter requires a parachute and then of course anything faster than 1099 1099 or 999 requires a, a roll cage in these cars so just Gonna go out, do a 10 point roll cage from Watson Racing. Uh, also going to do, uh, of course, the parachute mount uh, from Watson Racing as well. Uh, as you can see inside, it's I mean, pretty much bone stock, besides the e-boost peeking out there. Uh, if you look at the handbrake, I've got my uh, trans brake button on that activates the trans brake and the two step. Uh, other than that, again, guys, this is a stock sealed motor, uh, stock transmission as it came from the factory, hasn't been torn apart. There's stock cams, stock springs, uh, stock valve springs. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep this one short for you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Be sure to comment and do all that jazz. Follow and we'll see what she see what she can do for next year. I do have plans already for next year, race wise. Uh, we will be doing the Great American No Prep Weekend which is June 21st to 23rd. 
Uh, it starts out in Eddyville, Iowa, then goes down to Osborne, US 36 in Missouri, and Ozark uh, Raceway Park, also in Missouri. So, kind of a mini drag weekend, I guess you could say. Uh, kind of wanted to do Rocky Mountain Race Week as well, but the last day of Rocky Mountain Race Week is the 21st, which is the first day of Great American No Prep. So, gonna somewhat take it easy next year, do the, the Great American No Prep, uh, give that a go. I've got a buddy that's gonna do it with me, uh, Trey Adcock, has a 1980 four door Ford Fairmont. With a stock 5.3 and a, I believe, 76 millimeter turbo. Could be a little bigger. I think he said he was going to an 88 and bigger injectors for next year. Since his turbo took a crap on him. So yeah, him and I are going to do this. Uh, the wives are going to drive the, the chase vehicles with fuel and... Uh, majority of the bigger tools and of course the kiddos uh, but yeah like I said follow along like the video share the video get the video out there uh, 1100 horsepower twice on a stock sealed 2015 long block uh, have a good day guys